Why? Because through that humility and lonely, we can find a place in our heart and make a residence in our heart. So all the details of Punch and Tucker, there's just one little detail that's coming to my mind right now. You know the deity of Tucker Goldman? Who here has seen the deity of Tucker Goldman? He's a very large and tall deity. He was worshipped in this Rajabin style garden in Jagannath Puri. Why? Gadadar Pandit. And as Gadadar Pandit, this is just a detail to help us enter into the relationship of these personalities. As Gadadar Pandit became older, he couldn't reach the deity. You see how beautifully Radha and Chandra are dressed each day by the Pujaris. He couldn't reach the Lord's shoulders. So what did Gopinath do? Gopinath sat down. So the deity is a very rare deity of sitting down with Krishna just for his devotee get out of it. Like this, there's oceans of details in these devotees. So let's think of them. Let's invite them into a relationship with those who hold us.
was famous for singing this one song. You can find a video of him. He used to swing. He wasn't traveling around the world raising money for the only places of the Nod and with Ramesh Baba, the only from Juman Mandir. He used to sweep the steps of the temple of Shimati Radharani. And he famously sang this song, I want to die sweeping the steps of Shimati Radharani's temple. singing the song in a jovial way, and then at the very end, the emotion passes in, and he, his heart opens, and you can see that it's more than just a, a laugh, and he immediately turns away from the camera and runs away. So the story is that when the morning when the pilgrims came, they saw him sweeping the stairs of Radharani's temple in Varshana, and in the evening they came back, and his body was there at the bottom of the stairs with the broom nearby. And in my mind, I always imagined that he's sweeping, going up, going up, and at some point, she wants to rather and he comes, and she says, just leave the broom behind and come with me. And the broom and all the other things fall away, and he just carries on his hand around the So I, the grace of my guru's holiness, Radha Swami, I got to Meet him. I'm sorry for speaking so much, but this is also true. Maybe the channel is too loud. You found your mic. So we can talk a little bit. So Radhanath Maharaj doesn't speak Brijbasha, and other one Brijbasha didn't speak English. But the two of them would meet, and they would sit and hold hands together for hours. And they would just hold hands and have conversations on the side and just look at each other and have conversations on the side. And the only, the only thing they said to each other was, one of them would look over and he'd say, Adira Adin. And Radha Maharaj would say, Adira Adin. And then they would both laugh. And you all know Radha Maharaj just laughed. Sounds like sweeping stairs. So let's see if you can hear the sound. 
Oh,